Hey there planners, today I'm introducing you to this little guy, a newest member of my planner system and I'm really excited to share what's going on in this tiny little notebook with you. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. So you guys know I'm in my bullet journal. I love my bullet journal. It is really feeling like home to me. I'm moving more and more things into it and find myself migrating to the single book. However, I have been wanting to have a place recently that I could capture notes on things I'm studying, things I'm interested in, also a little bit of like daily jotting, daily planning in my bullet journal, the way I have it set up currently. It is a monthly, weekly planning section, and I do not use daily logging or daily pages in that bullet journal, which is fine because it's working for me. <laughs> and if it's working, I don't wanna rock the boat. I absolutely love my bullet journal and wanna keep it exactly like it is. However, I am finding occasionally I want a place to daily log or to capture certain things that I want to keep track of each day or just to journal and jot, jot down notes. So I reached into my drawer where I keep extra notebooks and grabbed this little guy and I'm going to talk about what it is with you today. First of all, let's talk about this beautiful cover. This is actually an Oxnite cover. The brand is Oxnite. I found this on Amazon at the beginning of this year. It's an A6 size notebook cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a very orangey reddish brown um, that I just think is absolutely beautiful. It's got the double snaps and um, all the good stuff on the inside and it is a really good price. So I will have this listed down in the description box below as well as all the other goodies um, and supplies that I talk about when I'm going through what this new member of my team is. So I had this yellow full year A6 Stology notebook in my shelf, uh, in my drawer, you know, kind of just, I don't know when I purchased it, but I thought I would use it um, at some point in time and turns out this is the right time to use it. So I've got it stuck in an A6 Midori clear cover and uh, I won't go through everything that's in the pockets. This is all decorative. I do have some functional stamps. These are Erin Condren stamps that I haven't used, but labels, things like that, some icons stuck back there. Um, and then back here, I've just got a couple stickers. I don't even know what this is. Maybe a Planner Kate uh, discount code, but this is really all decorative. This is decorative. Um, just some Coffee Monster coat. I do have a in case of emergency and if found because I find myself um, putting this in my purse and carrying it with me because it's so tiny. It's really, really tiny. Um, this is the Uniball uh, P1 pins and you know, you, so you can see it's a little tiny pin. This, this notebook is so tiny. I, I'm really loving it for that reason. So I stuck a few Coffee Monster Co. Uh, stickers on there. I put a couple of clear pockets uh, on the inside and just stuck some things down in here. Um, this I actually made, this pattern is like really, really popular. So I wanted one that said Annie on it and it says planner in every day, I'm planner in every day all the way around it. And um, I made this in Canva just for fun because I thought it was cute. I like the pattern and design. So I printed it on sticker paper, but I just like using it like that. Okay, so what is going on in this little notebook? Well, I set up a um, sticky notes dashboard, all yellow sticky notes, kind of keeping with the yellow theme. And I just started putting things in here. Um, so I did spend some time up front, like I printed this. This is from off Canva, I think. I printed it and just uh, stuck it down in here, printed it on sticker paper. I've got the months left in this year, so August through December. I don't know that I'll use this. I'm not trying to recreate a planner in here. I have a planner, it's my bullet journal, and I love it. Um, so I don't. I put this in here, but I don't even know that I'll use this. These are the Coffee Monster Co. freebies you can get. Um, these freebie little calendars in the Coffee Monster Co. Facebook group. Um, I did write my goals in here because I want to have my goals everywhere. So I used a Planner Kate sticker kit and wrote my goals in here. So I've got that. 
Um, I then took a bunch of printables. So I collect trigger list and task list printables. I collect those uh, because I love anything that helps me do a brain dump and remember all the things I need to remember. So this is with, um, this is from Plans with Emma. Um, I believe this is on her Instagram page. Um, it's a trigger list, you know, projects, transportation, admin, leisure, finance, all that stuff. This is from Day Designer. This is 86 list for the planner obsessed, which I think I fall into that category. Um, this is from planning. Uh, this is from Brown Plans, Brown underscore plans on Instagram. This is from, I think, the planner spot as a freebie, all of these were freebies. Um, and then this one is from Planning with B. So I just have lots of trigger lists in here because um, I like to have tools to help me remember the things that I need to remember. And so every now and then I can just flip through these and look and see, is there anything on here that triggers my memory of something I need to do? I also have a place to list my own additional ones. So uh, when I found myself, since I set this up a couple weeks ago, um, I, I use this actually when I'm doing my weekly review, I'll just come here and do a quick scan um, of all of these trigger lists to see if there's anything in here I need to remember. All right, and then from here, I just turned the page and I started journaling. Um, I put a sticker down, I wrote the date, and I just started journaling. And, you know, this was not really journaling, but just some thoughts that I was having about my bullet journal and needing this notebook. <laughs> so I started with like some notes about how I thought I wanted to use this notebook. Um, I, you know, on this day, I had just filled all my bird feeders first thing in the morning with bird seed and was writing down some thoughts about the bird feeders and bird seed and it like not important at all, but just nice to have a place to record this is the day that I filled up the bird feeders because I want to know how often I'm filling them up um, and I want to start tracking that and just kind of thoughts about using this notebook around bird feeders. I was doing some research in castor oil. I took notes here about research in castor oil. And you can see, like, I'm popping in some very minimal decorations here, but, like, not, not a lot of decorations. I'm using some highlighters. I'm just not going crazy with it. Um, I had some journaling here about um, watching Lindsay Scribbles. If you guys don't follow her YouTube channel, you should. She's got such good ideas. She bounces around uh, between bullet journal, traveler's notebook, ring planners. It's just fun to watch her um, set things up and how she, how she uses her planner system. But um, I was watching her video and she had, she uses this concept that it just kind of stood out to me when I was watching her video of the one planner record system. So she thinks about, she hops around in different planners a lot, but she thinks about keeping a, like, this is the formal record of the year in a single planner. And I, I really liked the concept of that, thinking about the bullet journal that I have, like this notebook, you know, is a bunch of rambly notes and such, but um, having my bullet journal be like the record of what happened in the year that I put on the shelf and reference back to. Um, so just some thoughts around that and how I, you know, I like to try different planners. I like to hop around on a quarterly basis, but having that one single record is important to me. I have a this or that list. Um, none of this is like critical, crucial things that need to be done, but just as I'm thinking about different things and I put a tab here because I did keep coming back to it. It's about time for me to like migrate and make a new one. Um, I was taking some notes on the Mediterranean diet, um, watching a couple of videos about it and writing down sort of things about the Mediterranean diet. And you can see, again, I have these beautiful PET tapes from the washi tape shop. Um, and so I just pop some of those down. Um, and just to make the page look kind of aesthetic, but I'm not really worried about a theme or, you know, cohesiveness from page to page. Um, I did some overnight oats recipes and some healthy smoothies, you know, like literally just notes in the day. Um, 
I did some journaling here, and this was actually kind of writing out a prayer. Um, and so I popped a couple of stickers down, put the date up here, and I'm trying to make sure I date anything that's like journaly. Um, if it's just like a list of, you know, healthy overnight oats recipes, I don't really care what day I wrote this, but I do try to put a date on top of anything that is journaling. Um, food logging, and then some notes about food logging. Uh, two more days of food logging. I was checking out Amazon Fresh and, um, you know, kind of considering, is that something I wanted to use? Um, I did end up using it. It was amazing if you have that available in your area. Um, vitamin E oil, I was doing some research there. Uh, food logging and an anti-aging skincare. So I've been like wanting to update my skincare routine. So doing some research about that, watching videos, taking notes, um, just kind of working through things. And it's nice to have this to come back to if I need it. Um, another food log, another day of journaling where I put the date and kind of journal there, another food log. And then you can see like I have gone ahead and put a few stickers down on the pages ahead. Um, because I kind of like having a little bit of decor on the pages regardless of what I'm writing But I'm not putting a lot of thought into it. These are like happy planner stickers from an old book um, These are from random just a random sheet of stickers that I had, you know, just trying to use up some of the stickers, too so <sighs> I don't even know what to call it. Maybe it's called a commonplace book. Um, you know, just a notebook that I'm just filling up and with things that I do kind of want to look back on at some point in time, but um, not necessarily a daily planner that I'm having to work in and touch every day multiple times. I'm not keeping any dated information in here. This is more just like an extra notebook that I'm taking notes in. So that's a look at what I'm doing in this guy. I don't, I think I have... Oh yeah, I did put a little um, grid spacing key back here and, a, and an add to notebook list. Um, I did write out what I thought the purpose of this notebook was, which is daily planning, journaling, food logging, general notes, and common placing. So like an anything goes notebook. Um, it's got a ton of pages because it's a little stology, but you know, who knows? I don't know that I will feel like I need this forever. Maybe it's just the season that I'm in right now. I'm finding the need to want to take a bunch of notes and I don't want to fill up my bullet journal with that. I want my bullet journal to be kind of cleanly, you know, monthly planning, goals, meal planning, my master brain dump list for the month, weekly planning, you know, that's kind of it. Collections, my list, all of that stuff. I kind of want to keep it clean to that. And it's nice to have this little space to come and write extra notes in. Fits in my, um, fits in my wallet. I mean, in my purse really well. I could almost see, I said wallet because I was even considering, could this be my wallet? I don't know. Um, I think everything would fit in here. I mean, there's enough cards slots to be able to put you know what I want it's got enough pockets where I could put stuff in it I may even consider turning this this little guy into my wallet so anyway I don't know what this is I know that I'm enjoying it and I wanted to share it with you I would love to hear from you do you ever find yourself just wanting to add somewhere to take little scratchy notes do you do your daily logging in your main planner or do you separate that out um, are you using some sort of common placing system and what does that look like? I'd love to hear all about that down in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. Stick around to see what happens from this guy <laughs> in the future. And thanks for planning with me.